Hello again and welcome. Today's video is going to be an attempt at turning this Rabinia burr, which I was very kindly sent by my friend John Dempsey. I've never turned Rabinia burr before and I certainly haven't turned Rabinia before. It's seven inches uh, deep and seven inches across. It is very uneven as you'd expect with a burr and it's quite light as well for a piece of this size, a chunk this size, so I have no idea how it's going to turn and furthermore I have really no idea what's going to end up as. It could be a vase, it could be a hollow form or it could be a multi-piece. <laughs> So it's got to be an interesting turn nevertheless. So without further ado, let's get turning this Rabinia burr. So the basic shape I'm going for is a vase uh, and there's obviously going to be big voids in there. Unfortunately I didn't have the camera on when I started to shape this when I finally decided how I was going to go but uh, hopefully uh, you can see. I put an awful lot of uh, CA glue in here originally um, in this crack here. It took about half, half a bottle. Um, and this one here that runs down here but I think it's going to hold together so I'm just going to possibly just refine this slightly and I'm not sure whether I'm going to have the um, the lip off horizontal as it were I'm not sure how that's going to look but uh, what, I'm, what I'm going to do now is just do a little bit of fine refining here that's going to be the general shape I think and then I'll start to hollow out the, mid hollow out the middle um, got to be a little bit careful there because if I'm taking this out here for example then there's going to be precious little holding everything together but we'll see and if it uh, if it falls apart it falls apart but I hope it doesn't
Yeah, that's feeling pretty good inside now. There's a little ridge just about there. Let's just saw that out. I think. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's fine. I'm pleased with that. So that's it as far as hollowing is concerned now. The wall thickness is obviously not even all the way through because otherwise you would just get rid of everything and there'd be nothing left. But I'm quite happy with how it's turned out. Uh, copious quantities of hand sanding now. I'm not going to risk power sanding or using an inertia sander with all these voids. And yeah, it's got some lovely figure on the inside and the overhead hopefully will show you the basic shape obviously that again is not uniform because of all the voids and inclusions but some lovely figure on the inside here and again on the outside hand sanded and then So the piece has now been sanded to 600 by hand and uh, I'll just show you the some lovely figure inside and indeed on the outside too. <coughs> um, I will be taking the foot down a little bit narrower down here but uh, for the sake of this part I'm just going to start applying the Danish oil uh, just to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. Well that's the bowl finally finished and it stands at just on 7 inches high by 7 inches wide. Full of figure, really nice and uh, got some beautiful characteristics. I've just put uh, two coats of Hampshire Sheen Danish oil on at the moment but I should put another 4 or 5 on I should think by the time it's finished. But I enjoyed the turn and uh, thank you very much indeed for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Cheers now.